Dude, how did they lose to the Islanders? You said if we did the video here that the Leafs would win. Man, if they can't win with 61 shots, I don't think where we do the videos is the problem. You know, I don't often say this, but I think he's right this time. Leafs lose 4-3 to three to the New York Islanders in overtime. And you can get mad that they lost, but it wasn't for lack of effort. The Leafs had a franchise record 61 shots on goal. Could you imagine if they had 67 shots? That would have been perfect. But Dwayne Rolison decided to play like he was on a playoff run with the Oilers. He does well on teams that wear orange. And somehow, someway, despite the Leafs' comeback, Dwayne Rolison stole the Islanders a win. And on the other end, there was Vesitoskala. Now, it seems that he heard himself, just didn't say anything, and kept playing. And that led to a few goals going in. Which, if it's true, isn't noble or valiant or anything that he was playing through the pain. He, he could have cost his team a win. But before we rag on him too much, go and look at the Islanders' goals. Jeff Tambellini scores on a breakaway, and if you give the other team a breakaway, you don't blame the goalie, you blame the five skaters in front of him. And the second goal, a deflection. Again. And the third goal, yeah, he probably would have liked to have that one back. Just a solid wrister by Bergenheim. And guys like Bergenheim and Tambellini took the pressure off John Tavares. All the attention seemed to be on him. Him for his first game in Toronto. Come on, the guy just wants to play hockey. Phil Kessel once again has to take it upon himself to spark the Leafs and he scores their first goal of the game. And after Kessel scores first, Primo and Hagman listen to what everyone's been saying, go to the net. They score a goal each and the Leafs manage to take it to overtime. Again! The Leafs only have 15 points and 7 of them are from overtime losses. I think getting a point for losing is ridiculous, but at the same time, it's keeping the Leafs in it. Sort of. But after Ian White tried to dump the puck out, nobody's perfect. Bergenheim passes it over to 2008 first rounder Josh Bailey and he sinks the Leafs despite the fact that they got the most shots they've ever gotten, ever! Phil Kessel had 12 shots, Lee Stemniak had 8. If you took away all their shots, they still would have had 41. Rollison still got it. Oh, and did I mention Toskala was injured in the effort? Oh, and uh, John Mitchell. Question of the game for me, is it time to give Bozak another shot since John Mitchell, a center, is hurt? Or can you call up someone else? Another Mar to consider Alex Foster. He had five goals and one assist last week. Good enough for AHL Player of the Week. Six goals in just eight games so far this season. Is it his turn? He's played over 200 games with the Marlies. Maybe it is. And a question I'm expecting some very different opinions on. Matt Stajan. Another two assists last night. Has this guy played his way out of the fans' doghouse? Because I get to read the comments for all these videos and people seem to either love him or think he should be buried on the Marlies. And just for fun, with fans actually fighting over a souvenir stick in Anaheim, what's the most ridiculous thing you've ever seen at a hockey game? If you haven't seen the footage yet, look it up. Scott Niedemeyer throws a stick over the stands to give to a little girl as a souvenir and people just start beating each other up. Lots to talk about, so let me know. Peace.